Okay, I just wanted to um, show you a bit of a process that we're going through at the moment. Um, this is a unit in 2020 knob that was absolutely just caked on with rubbish. You know, it was obviously not being cleaned in a very, very long time. And um, I tried my usual stuff, and I've got to be honest, um, it didn't really come up as well as I'd like it to. And Sam said to me, she said, why don't you use the stuff that I make out in my little meth lab, well I call it a meth lab, she makes candles and she makes cleaning products and lots of things so probably doesn't make as much money as a meth lab. Anyway, I said well look I'm not really having much success with the normal products and um, let me show you, this is um, the gunk that she makes. <laughs> it looks like drugs doesn't it? Um, anyway, I can assure you no drug product was used to um, make this but um, and it takes a while to cure. Uh, this is something that uh, she can only make so many batches of um, every few months. It's uh, got to sit for quite a while, so I don't really understand quite the formula in that. But I will say, for someone that was probably not giving her enough credit for what it can do, like sometimes I'll go and use it for my hands when I've got grease, and it just the grease just falls off it. But just having a look at what it's done to just one, I mean, I pulled that out. I, all I did was boil some water, um, put this um, gunk in there that Sam makes, and um, and basically left these in for 10 minutes and then a very quick wipe over um, and, and I'm, I mean this was just looking so second hand it just was terrible so um, and you know in similar fashion uh, most of my work's done I you know I'm pulling these out and they had all this rubbish on them just from you know um, oils off the body and fingers and things and um, and, and they're a bit slimy when you bring it out. Sam's uh, Meth Lab product um, um, seems to sort of leave a little bit of a residue, so you then wipe that off. And, um, and, and you can see on my fingers it's sort of gooey. Um, I'll just wipe my fingers off a little bit here. But um, when I then have a look at just exactly the product of what comes out, it's really neat. So um, I don't know what we're going to call this yet. I would take it that. Sam's meth lab product's not going to work. Probably not a good idea. But um, I've got to say, for 10 minutes, um, and I've got three unit and 2020s I want to do this to at the moment because the knobs are all disgusting on every one of them, so is the faceplates. And um, uh, I'm not a neat freak or anything, I just sort of love stainless steel things that, you know, come up looking, you know, aluminium y looking things that shine, and, um, and they're meant to. Uh, but I just didn't think it was going to be this easy to clean it. Actually, I was, as I said, I was having some trouble cleaning it um, initially. I, I, um, I was a bit worried that if I scrubbed uh, too much that I was just going to get, you know, there were fine scratches on some of this too. Uh, but uh, there you go. Anyway, so um, when I show the unit in 2020 working on 40 and 80 metres, uh, it'll have some nice knobs that hopefully, you know, if I shine the light the right way, it'll all gleam and look wonderful. So. Um, but yeah, I'll, um, Mr. Mackey uh, VK2QR, I'm going to make you up a um, thing of this. Get Sam, we'll get Sam to make you one of these. I want you to try the product um, and see what you think. So I know you do a lot of stuff like myself. So um, remind me next time you're down here to uh, to grab some of that um, because I, th I think I think you might like it. All right. Anyway. Um, uh, <laughs> I was just joking with Sam, I don't know that we'll commercialise this product um, uh, just yet, uh, <laughs> somehow, but um, it is curious, and, and uh, just the same uh, product here, uh, as I said, she, she uses this for um, all the clothes, so this goes in for, um, uh, she puts a scoop of it in there for uh, the washing machine, and um, I've got to say, uh, yeah, you know, um, look, I'm not big into clothes and how clean they come out or anything, but I've got to say, yeah, it's been really good. All right, well... Um, this has just been a short video on Sam Smith Lab cleaning product. Um, uh, I'm not sure <laughs> when she watches this video whether she'll like that. But anyway, all right, it's uh, New Year's Day, still playing around with 2020s um, for the afternoon. Uh, but uh, as I said in one of the videos, uh, I think I said, uh, oh, I made a comment somewhere, I was either going to have a snooze or have a play with making a VFO work. So we've just taken that to the next level with cleaning a few things. All right. Thanks very much, I'm just messing up Sam, Sam's kitchen as per usual. Um, it's a um, uh, lovely kitchen, but <laughs> once we get started with the radio stuff, it can get a bit interesting. Normally we've got um, radios sort of piled up and down the kitchen sort of on these granite tops and uh, <laughs> yeah, I get in big trouble with that. 73's from VK3CM.
and um, more to follow on uh, this uh, Sam's uh, Meth Lab cleaning product. Cheers all.